Hi everybody, I'm Fox 21 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Matt Meister and I am here at Wild Blue Cats on Burgess Road in Black Forest and man oh man hasn't 2020 been a year, right? Well because of that it's Fancy Feast 2.0 this year and we're going to talk about what that means here over the next little bit. For now let's head inside the sanctuary and let's see what's going on. All right, hey, come on in. This is positively a wonderful place here. Having helped more than 6,000 cats in a decade, uh, we obviously have some very important goals to reach this year to support the normal operations of what we do, our feral cat colony, a critical care unit that we are looking forward to building as soon as we can. All of the proceeds that we raise here over the next few days in August going to go to the important work that we are doing here. Let's go in and uh, let's see if we can find some little kitty cats or somebody to maybe help me out with a little bit of information. I'm finding that the people here, they seem shy. Like a bunch of cat ladies or something like that. But let's go. Let's see what's happening. And oh, how perfect are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. There's nothing better than a little kitty. I don't know who this is right here, but sure sweet. Oh, look at that face. That's why we are doing this right here to help all of the cats who've been abused, neglected, abandoned. Uh, we take care of it all here at Wild Blue. So let's go in and let's see what's happening. All right, well, hey, I finally found somebody. Check it out. Uh, who, who are you? I'm Michelle. I'm Michelle, here. I'm Matt. It is I'm doing well. Thank you so much. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. You're doing good. I finally found a person in the sea of cats uh, in here. And um, I, I had a question for you. As I was walking with this beautiful cat, I noticed that we're sort of missing a paw back here. Do you know anything about this kitty? Well, yes, she is one of my foster kitties and she came to us missing the bottom part of her foot. Okay. Um, more than likely, the foot was wrapped around by the umbilical cord. Oh, my and goodness. mama probably chewed that off to save the baby. Um, oh. When she is big enough, she'll be spayed and that leg will be amputated so that it will be more comfortable for her. Well, that's obviously part of the important work you guys do here. I will say that that is quite a catastrophe <laughs> See what I did there? These jokes worth what you're paying for them, ladies and gents. Um, at any one time, we can have upwards of 120 to 220 kittens and moms in foster. Okay. Um, in our shelter alone, we can have a max of 45. Okay. So you can see. Sure, there's a more. cap, and you need to sort of expand <laughs> yeah. Wild Blue out into the community into, yep. to make it go. So, some of the money that we're going to raise are going to support not only the medical needs of these kitties, we have another cat with some, some special needs here, uh, but also supporting the foster families and food and everything uh, to make this program go. Um, what is, what's happening with this cat? She has cerebellar hypoplasia which is um, a brain disorder, basically. The cerebellum in her brain didn't develop properly, so she wobbles and bobbles. Okay. When she walks, um, we, we nicknamed her Twinkle Toes. Cause oh, that like that, walks, that's pretty good. Um, but her name is Alessandra. She was adopted once when she was two months old, but she doesn't like doggies. Oh, and okay. so they had to return her because okay. she wasn't happy and their dog wasn't happy. Okay. Um, so she is now back with them. So is, is the goal of the foster program to ultimately adopt the cats or are some of them, yes. are there lots of foster failures out there? I'm sure there are a few of those, right? Um, yes, there are a few. Um, I actually have a couple that I foster failed on. That's okay. That's okay. It's like you have a heart is what that is. Yes. Called. And um, we, but the goal of fostering is to say goodbye and to find them a great home. Well, thank you for everything that you do. It's volunteers like you that make Wild Blue go. We're going to go see if we can find some more. So yes. let's go. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me right now. This is ridiculous. I can't leave the room without checking this out. Uh, we have five beautiful Hi. cats and a cat lady here. <laughs> Who are you? My name's Sabrina. Sabrina, nice to meet you. Me too. What's the deal with all these kitties? It's like there was just a vomit of little cats that yeah. happened all over the place. Last month alone, we took in 132 kittens, oh my which is goodness. crazy. So they're all in foster. 
So one of our programs that's going to be during the silent auction is fund a need. Okay, and so tell me about that. Is that you have a need and people can fund it, I'm sure. Yes, right? like the marketing shots. people spend a lot of time yeah, on that one, that's right? right. Okay. <laughs> so you can like you can pay for all five of these kittens to get their vaccinations for a hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> And then we have, like, you can fund the need of trap, neuter, and return. And then uh, we have, like, other dentals, things like that. So, like, you can donate money that would tell you exactly what you're donating. Right. I, I like that idea. Yeah. There's specific needs. You know that 100% of that donation is going yes. to help that yeah. animal or that specific need that we have here uh, right now. So make sure that you, you know, don't get sucked into one part of the website. Get yeah. in there. Explore. <laughs> As part of Fancy Feast 2.0, it's a little different this year. So you got to do a little bit of work to make all of this go. The need is big. Your generosity is very, very important. So fund, uh, fund a need, one of the ways that you can help. And uh, we're going to try to, you know, wrangle up all these kitty cats here and go check out something else. So Sabrina, nice to meet yeah, you. you too. Thanks for being here. Let's go. We've got more to do. Okay, on the way out here, I want to remind you that this was started by Air Force retiree Lori Cross some 10 years ago. And previous Fancy Feast events have funded all of these beautiful garden windows here at the sanctuary that obviously the cats love to sit in. In fact, here's Jora right here enjoying one of them, uh, two years old. You know, we would have recorded this part a couple minutes ago, but she was clean. <laughs> We're keeping this, you know, family-friendly show here. But look how at home she is, just making her way on the cabinet there. And so, you know, cats being cats is what this is all about, right? So keep in mind, because it's Fancy Feast 2.0, and 2020 is a little, you know how it's been. You've all been living through it. Here's the deal. August 12th, Wednesday, from noon that day until August 16th, noon on Sunday, is when you can contribute and when Fancy Feast 2.0 is open. So make bids on things. Come back. See if somebody outbid you. Get back in there. Get personal about it. Bid against yourself. I won't tell anybody. It's okay to have a split personality right now and personality A can bid against personality B and see which one wins. Just work it out. Trust me, it'll be fun. Let's go outside. Well, I'm outside now and I'm here at what is really unique to Wild Blue. It's the catios. The cats from inside can choose to come outside whenever they want. How awesome is that? Uh, I'm gonna go in and see Momo here, who's about 10 years old, and like all of the cats here, is available for adoption. And I'm gonna see, I, I hear that Momo has a little bit of catitude. I mean, you know, she's a cat, that's what happens, right? But we'll see if we can get a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of interaction. I'm not going to initiate it. I know how it works with cats. It's kind of like Abby at 5 a.m. before the newscast starts. You let her talk to you. I've learned that over the years. Hey, good to see you, Momo. I heard that she had a little bit of catitude, but hey, I'm just a cat guy, and you can see that she loves it. So here's one of the things I wanted to tell you right now. Uh, it's it's our, our cat calendar, and we need your help picking which cats, which photos are going to be in the calendar for 2021. And let's be honest, how excited are you to get out a 2021 calendar and keep 2020 back behind us, right? So here's how you do it. Go to the section of the website where you can vote on the cats or cat photos that you want in the calendar. It's $1 per vote, just $1. So you can vote on, oh, I don't know, the favorite two photos that you see or the favorite 20 photos that you see. Or you can just sit there and go like that over and over again for the one you really, really like and kind of put it over the edge. When you put that cat over the edge for the calendar, you put the rest of the cats at Wild Blue over the edge and you help support what we're doing here. By the way, this is, oh yeah, that's catnip. Uh, you can't have a cat catio without the catnip, right? You gotta do it. Momo, you like this stuff? Oh, as you can see, you know, it's called catnip for a reason. Let's go check something else out. Oh, and it's time to get wild here. We're at Maya's Wild Fart Village. This is where the feral cats are. And, you know, wild, feral, 
non-social, they all kind of mean the same thing as you know. And my hunch is we're not going to have anybody come out, but let's come in here and see if we can maybe find one of the cats. There are 25 that live here right now, and these cats, you know, the, the goal is to, to trap, neuter, release, get them back to a place that they can live, a barn or someone that can take care of them. But these cats live here because there's, they have nowhere else to go. They may have been unfortunately shot at, maybe have been poisoned, or for whatever the reason is, they have nowhere else to go, so this is their home. And so they get to live like a feral cat wants to live. There's a heated shed, so in the winter they have somewhere to go. There's lots of places for them to hang out. I keep calling, kitty, kitty, kitty. Eh, they don't care. You know, it, I mean, it's, it's cats being cats, right? But that's what Wild Blue is all about. So as we finish our time together, I'd like to encourage you to sort of uh, foster that generosity, if you will. Uh, go find things on the website to, to fund a need. Go vote on all of the, the cat pictures for the calendar and go bid on things. Um, there's lots to check out in Fancy Feast 2.0 this year, and we need your support. We wanna thank you for being part of our unique time together this year. Uh, we're sorry that the conditions uh, in our society with the pandemic aren't going to allow us to be together this year, but from everybody here at Wild Blue, we thank you for your continued support for what you're going to do this year. We know it is going to be great, and we thank you in advance for that. That, and we look forward to seeing you next year. So from Wild Blue, I'm Matt Meister. It's been an honor to be with you. Get out there, vote, contribute, fund, bid, and we'll see you next year.